yeah what's up one more time friends you know what i'm talking about now we're talking about the trend you know this is the only place we come and talk about the trend you know there's nothing i talk about but i'll talk about only the trend you know <clears throat> now let's go i said what should you be looking at you know this is what i said in one of my video i think it's my it's my it's my uh, recent video i said this is what you're supposed to be looking at okay but it only depends on how you are looking at it you know what i'm talking about this is what you should be looking at but it only depends on how you are looking at it you understand now let me show you something you know i said when you when you take a time to look at the naked chart or you look at the forex trending you know um then you get a big idea of where is the price going you know where it's going now if you looking at this you know if you looking at this inside the support resistance of 500 period you know i know i like this support resistance 500 men you know and you put a trend line like this and you see that it's going up all right but then what is going to happen in this type of case is that we put a zone that yep we are trading inside this small zone right now and the only characteristics of uptrend is to break the upper what is this the upper range okay it's going to break the upper range you know that is the qualities and characteristics of uptrend you know so how do you follow this type of things my boy my boy how do you follow these you know what look at if you follow in this naked chart and you want to have a peace of mind or rest of mind that <clears throat> okay you don't want to be chasing you know where the market is going and you know the characteristics of that trend uptrend is going to be breaking the upper range where is the range this is a range a range oh a correction back to the trend a range this is a range this previously used to be the high highest high before there was a break out of it and that gave us this longest leg that is the characteristics of uptrend and exactly what happened here breaking this range is exactly what is going to happen right here it's going to break this range and this long leg will continue so i said when you now take a look at the forex trending itself then you know you get the idea of where is the trend going you get the idea then you come to your chart and you choose to do this that i've done a 500 period support resistance a naked chart and then just following following by breaking zone zone this is another zone zone you know so so if you choose this way of trading i want to ask you a question does it not make you feel like you are trading uh with peace of mind and the only thing you you you, you care about is waiting for result and you go out every day smiling smiling and doing what you like doing you come back you see your price your your, your profit has increased instead of instead of you chasing confusing this and that now <clears throat> I don't know if time is gonna permit me to show you another second way of you know <laughs> doing this type of things maybe 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 i will do this in the in, in another video you see I'm, I'm out of time so definitely i'm gonna do this in another video but you know anyhow it is check under this video you will see the link to the support resistance and you will see the link to the forex trending itself you understand when you get something that shows you about your own progress why not get it why not get it you got you got you got all your all the roadmaps you you need on my channel you see that my channel you get all the roadmaps of everything you need to progress 
yeah welcome back welcome back as you know that you know the only time i got to record my video is five minutes <laughs> so crazy man <laughs> five minutes oh my god so as i was saying in the previous video you know which i will i will join i will join this with that one i will join them together so you will be able to watch them as only one not separate you know so if you are still a beginner in forex okay because following this um naked chat could be for professional but what i'm saying is the most important thing is to identify the trend and you as a beginner you cannot do this by just looking at this your chart that is why you need a forex trendy to guide you and if you're talking about the forex trendy and you're feeling like you need it you check the link under this video the forex trendy link is right there for you which i know that is the only thing that can teach you about the forex trend how the price moves where is it going without you thinking twice or you just did it's a good strategy now look if you don't like to do the one i said before like you know following the naked chart breaking the breaking the breaking the range you know then you might like to do things that looks like you know you, you may be the one who's gonna like to do things that look like um let me bring you something 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 maybe maybe you like something that looks like this you know with something that looks like this one we're gonna now put our arrow if you need this arrow the link is under this video too this one now lets you to be able to follow follow up the trend okay um everything is having the a lot and other things is okay possible a lot on current yep so you may like to follow this trend by applying this hey my god look at you may follow this trend by applying this arrow of 10 crossing the 50 and you begin to follow this in the uptrend follow this in the uptrend follow this in the uptrend look just calculate your good lot size that's it and then you can follow any of this 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 you can follow any of them if you know how to split your own lot size okay the first video i made happens to be the the, the overall idea of the of the trend itself okay but now this second one is how to follow it if you are the one following that trend day by day by day okay if you are the one following it day by day but you will not follow blindly though because the trend has a behavior this is why we're gonna put something that looks like um um you know because the trend has a behavior you know everything we put on our chart has a meaning you know so because the trend has a behavior then i'm gonna put something um wait for me wait for me please i'm gonna put something the trend as a behavior when it gets somewhere is gonna do a little bit of turnaround this is why we put support resistance 500 to know the boundary which we are trading we are trading in a boundary of the 500 support resistance when price has been hitting it then it's coming back down a little bit okay you know it hit it here came back down hit it here came back down so as it's hitting it is going up which means it's trending the, the the big time frame they are trending i'm on the one hour time frame you know but then the last bottom it ever created the last bottom it ever created inside that zone is this which means it will it, it may be bouncing on this and going up to break this level until it breaks it and give us another long leg which you continue to use this arrow to follow it if you need this arrow it is under this video you get it if you get what gives you a guidance on how to succeed in your forex and the tool is under the video why
Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at? <laughs> you see, take the Forex Trendy, put it on, pick a pair and look at it, and put it on your chart, naked chart like this, and then see. That is what you need to be seeing. The relationship between your chart and the Forex Trendy is that your naked chart is even the Forex Trendy itself. You know what I mean? Take a look at it. Before we ever get started painting our chart, pink, blue, putting indicators, putting this and that on it, that we can no longer see this anymore. That is why we lose, because we cannot see the real thing we got to be seeing. Hmm. Okay. If anyone now told me, okay, this price is going up. Yes, it is. Because you see the right thing. Then you got 50% of winning rate. Until you put your entry in and you put the right entry in. Then you got 100% winning rate. When you see this and your brain is telling you this is going up and you look at the forex trendy and you see it, it's going up. Then this is what you need to be seeing. And this is the reason why you need to wait and find a good entry along the pullback. This is one big strategy that I'm teaching you guys about. One of my video where I said million dollar profit structure. Yeah, this structure, man, million dollar profit structure. Okay. We've seen the way it looks on the naked chart. This is the USDJPY. I'm not doing analysis. I'm just talking. Let us go to our own template and apply one kind of template where we have put a lot of color on our screen. I don't know. Which is my template? Which is my template? Let me see. It. Yeah. You, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? The naked chart has shown us overall direction of this UJ despair but when i put my color chart see what i got confusion this is confusing it's crazy i don't even know where the market is going but because of the naked chart the naked chart let put it on because of this naked chart let me know <laughs> this is going up go look at forex trendy you will know exactly what to do okay so if i go back because i got the idea it's going up and i go back to my chart and i put this on so i know it's going up what do i do bring out my trend line Put it on oh you can even tag this video as how to trade trend line but i said this is 50 million dollar profit structure trading this will give you money when you know how to do this type of things you gotta know the next thing you're gonna do is to wait for a pullback just a pullback look it doesn't matter if you wait for pullback and it hit the trend line and you pick it up maybe it went a little bit against you to a particular zone maybe here or here it doesn't matter as long as you put your own entry in to the where the trend is going and you got something that shows you something that shows you your take profit and your stop loss then you are good to go 
So, like you all know, one more time, this is your boy, Forex Strategy Factory, <laughs> aka the Forex Wizard 6, triple six. You know what I mean? Yeah. We are the one behind the Forex, bombarding the Forex market, killing it, seriously, you know. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm talking about, the, the, the reason for this video of today, you know, is is to encourage or to, you know, inspire a lot of young, young guys out there, man. I've seen you, I've seen your struggles, man. <laughs> I saw a lot of you on Facebook, social media, uh, Instagram. Many of you are even my followers. Many of you are everywhere in my email list. Many of you are talking to me directly or indirectly, man. Hmm. But I've seen your problem. But I know I know the cause of your problem, you know. Because I used to be there. I used to be in that shoe. I used to be in that situation where I felt like, oh, my God. When am I going to start making it in Forex? Or when is my one plus one going to be two, you know? Not like I got to pull my ass somehow and guess. Come on, guess something. Guess. Guess and win today, lose tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Win today, lose tomorrow is good. At, at least <laughs> there is win in the equation. You know, it's only we want to remove the lose and keep the win. You know, we want to find out what is the reason for that loss and why. Why did I even win at the first place? <laughs> this is what you want to you want to put at the back of your mind you know if you don't know how to keep this at the back of your mindset then maybe you are not taking notice of what exactly you are doing to say okay okay but i won i won yesterday yep but then why did i lose today so the reason for that loss you want to take it away and throw it into the garbage <laughs> and you will continue to win man come the real thing I see about this forex thing that I see most of you not doing is a lot of people are just forex savvy. You just want to trade and trade and you want to put signal in. You want to put entry in. You don't just want to sit down and even look a little bit and feel like, okay, is it a time for me to wait? Yeah, <laughs> you know, in everything, there is a time to wait. I want to ask you a question. Are you waiting? while you are waiting what is at the back of your head are you saying that okay let me let me stay at the chat a little bit and put in and put it one small tiny lot yeah if one small tiny lot you put in at the wrong wrong zone can blow your account away man you know what i mean <laughs> if you've been trading for long you know what i mean though you know <laughs> you know i've been waiting bro i've been waiting seriously waiting oh drastically momentarily uh if there's something to say epidemically i've been waiting you know what i mean epidemically <laughs> those days that i used to wait wait for a perfect entry i used to get some temptation along the line you say okay man hey hey come 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 for a strategy for a strategy man you see there is a good entry in there you're gonna win get that fucking entry in man but you know what <laughs> If I got tempted and I do that, I do lose some shit. But at the end, oh, the price will go to where I've planned it. You know the reason? There's a price you gotta pay for not waiting. You gotta pay a price. Because the, the price itself, the market or the price for its chart itself will get to a zone and turn back. Like I always told you in my ex video, long time video, I said, look, bro, <laughs> look. The price will get to a point and turn around. Why not wait? Now we wait. We wait. For example, this is this is something of um. This is just a video of um the NZDUSD because I wait. Now, if I'm gonna place my buy now, you know, I can put a buy right here at zero point seven one nine zero two. I can pen my buy right here right now okay let me see if the time is still available for me if i pay my buy right here 
Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. You know, it's because um, <laughs> the camera I use in recording my videos, you know, they always giving me like five minutes limitation. So <laughs> once I cannot be done with the first video, I got to come back again to do continuation. So like I was saying in that previous video, I said, okay, because I've been waiting for so long, and if I have to pull my, pull my entry right here, right now, because of this pullback that I've seen, because I've been waiting. And I said, okay, pull my entry pending order on the 0 0.71890, which is the pullback in the pullback itself. I don't want to use any difficult terminologies. This is a long pullback. This is a move. This is a pullback. Pullback inside the pullback. Pullback within a pullback. I think this is a double, could call it a double leg divergence, man. Double leg divergence. Where you don't even know what a pullback is. But at least you'll be able to see a double leg divergence. Okay. So I put my pending order entry on that buy stop 0 0.71 890 hey when you're watching this video later in the future somehow please <laughs> don't take this as the current signal this is just a video that i made you might be watching it in the future it's a replay you got me don't make a mistake but when you're watching this channel you better subscribe follow me because <laughs> This thing you see here is what we'll be doing right now before you see how we go live and killing the YouTube marketplace. Subscribe to this channel. Okay. So if I say, yeah, this is the pullback. Where the pullback ever got started right here. Okay. But I know the market is going to come back and break this zone like shit. So I pull my take profit right in here, man, bro. <laughs> Let's say 0 0.72340, man, NZD USD. Hmm. See the way I'm analyzing the market for you. <laughs> you see the way I'm analyzing the market for you. Mm. Because when you stay too long in the Forex market, man, you become a friend to Forex itself. And the Forex becomes your friend and that becomes part of you. And all you're going to display in your life is Forex. You got the skill. You got the skill to print your money. You got the skill, the skill to shake the world, man. When you know how to do Forex, you're going to shake the world. You're going to blow the world. You got your own economy. You don't scare no one. Nobody control you. You're not under everybody's control. You can control the mountain and move the sky and break, break all unshakable space. You shake them. You shake them and bring them down. You don't fucking care no one. When you know what Forex is. And you can look. And tell the market this is what you're going to do. And the market is going to do exactly what you've said. Look. This is my stop loss. Let me just put it here in a figure you understand. You put it in the in this tail. But I put it where on the round figure where you can see it properly and understand what I'm doing. 0 0.71, 350. That is my stop loss. This is this is the graph of your trade in NZDUSD. But you see, I would not like you take this for something like maybe I've done analysis. I don't want a video you come and watch only one time and you are gone. You know, I want a video you come and watch and watch and watch and watch and watch over and over again. So sometimes you're going to see this video inside some of my video because they are always cut and mixed together so when you see it at that point please don't take it like it is the current signal you know just stay today is today is um let me say march 14th you know 2021 okay at least <laughs> i've set the date for you so when you're watching this type of thing in the future don't mistake it as that signal okay Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.
So the other day when I told you guys about um, the, you know, setting up your chat and the Forex Trendy issue, you know, one thing about your chart is that it is the only thing that will determine if you're going to be successful in Forex or not, you know. So now I'm going to set up a chart right now. So you can see in the post that I made for you guys, I want you to now see the chart the way I'm going to display it. And I put about the support resistance tool, support resistance there's a reason why it is there. I'm going to add the support resistance. I told you in the post, I put 500 level support resistance. This is the point where the price always turn around. And the support resistance, you're looking at a lot because you see the price turn around. The price bounce on it and it's turning around and this going up, you know. Good. Now, if you are a day trader, you can follow it to wherever it's going. And if not, you can take your entry here. If you're a scalper, you can get out from here. Okay. But that is not what we're doing here today. Now, look. Let us go get that arrow. The arrow that I put, that I call the income arrow. Go to custom the income arrow that I put. And this arrow also has a lot. You know, I always set mine to be like 10. It's crossing 50 because it will give me the best uh, signal. And then all the other settings, I leave them alone. And I do things like uh, show MA lines. No, a lot is on. Yes. Make sure your a lot is on because if not, you cannot get signal. A lot on current, I put the false, false. A lot message, yes. A lot sound, yes. A lot message is the one that will send the alert to your phone, your phone. And you can use your phone to enter the trade. Okay, a lot email. Well, this one too, if I like, I turn it on. But now let's go and see exactly how it looks like. This is it. These are the arrows. Okay. As a trader, when you know that, the logic here is that the price has bounced on this support and now it's bouncing up. So you know it's going up. That is the thing at the mind, at your at the back of your mind right now. It is going up. It has bounced here on the support, okay, on the floor. Now it's going up, okay? Now, this is the reason why I help you to set the chart so that you can see it. Okay, because when you have a chart that is showing you what exactly is going on in the market, then you will have confidence to, to be sure of monthly income from your trading. Look, what are you supposed to be doing, if not, to follow the arrow, the buy arrow, the buy arrow only, you follow the buy arrow. Okay, if you are the one that always draw a trend line, when you draw a trend line, and you know that your trade ends until the day this trend line is broken. Now, look at the chart. Hmm? Tell me that there's something good you found on this chart. While the price bounced on this zone, the roof, which is the resistance, it started coming down where you follow this yellow arrow for down, 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 down. If you draw a trend line following this arrow, you will see that, okay, until the day my trend line broken, that is when I come to buy. See, are you not buying? You are buying. Okay. Now, this trend line drawing is uh, a strategy for another day. You know, it's not, I'm not teaching you how to trade Forex, but I'm teaching you how to set up your chart and the reason why you need to have a, a very clean chart. Now, this is the support resistance line that I told you. It is the two blue lines and these are the arrow. Okay, if you look at the price, they are so cheap. I believe anybody can afford it. I, I probably made it cheap because of you guys, because I know that yeah, most of you cannot afford much expensive things. This is why I'm showing you this. So I don't think you should hesitate not to even get it in order to be profitable. Hmm? If you get something that solves your problem and is going to make you to be profitable, why not? Why not? Why not invest in it? Why not get it? 
yeah so we made a video the other day and now we started again with another video right here to continue what we just talked about a few days ago about this support resistance which we have the blue line like i told you guys and then we have our arrow if you don't forget yeah we do this is it the arrow we follow and we don't just follow things blindly you know what i mean we look at where the market has bounced away from the support. It bounced up, started going. Now, yesterday, while I was doing this video, we took a buy following this arrow right here. But the market went up and pulled back. Now, a lot of you, new beginner trader, will be scared of pullback. You know, you're going to be scared of pullback. And that has been the problem in the Forex, which makes a lot of you losing because when you see a pullback, you don't want to care if you're in the right direction. I've seen a lot of people, they will close that order, man. They feel it's gone against them. The reason is because you don't know where the market is going by yourself. You know, look, a simple analysis. The market has bounced away from support. It shows you it's going up this is why we drew a trend line apart from the support resistance which is the boundary where we are trading okay now we know it's going up this is why we follow it up yesterday now because i got the information is going up if i'm gonna take my profit now as a scalper you know what i can take my profit somewhere right here if i say i want to take my profit I can take my profit, profit number one, right here. Okay, I can do that. If I'm going to think of the long term, maybe, you know, to hold it for at least a week. Yeah, maybe a week or a week and a half. Yeah, I can come here and take my profit number two, right here. Why? Because I know this price is going around here around here is going to create the next resistance but i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is i know where it's going i know where it's going and i'm going to get out here i'm going to get out here for longer time now if i'm going to talk about the pullback which is the level that the price will always create to give you another good entry so that zone is what me i'm going to use to pull my stop loss levels pull back stop loss see you know why i can do this thing i'm showing you because i know what the market used to do well you know what the market used to do you will not be scared of pullback but you will take advantage of the pullback now if this is the level it has created as the last pullback, okay, if I'm going to take this trade today, then my stop loss is going to be exactly, um, exactly below the pullback itself. Boom. Oh, uh, what type of risk reward ratio is this? If I have a stop loss here, my entry here, which I put this on yesterday and which my, my take profit is here or here when you calculate it it looks like a risk reward ratio of two to one which is very profitable so what am i saying if you know how to follow one strategy and you know one strategy and there's a pattern which you need to see in the market and you follow it with a risk reward ratio of two to one hmm? and you follow that every day man your success is guaranteed this is why we got the support resistance level and this video is called how to follow support resistance using the income arrow okay i will put all the link of what you need under this video like the support resistance and the this income arrow I will put the link under the video you need to check it out because these are the things that will guide you you know there's no
I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you are impressed by that small piece of information, see the link below. And thank you for your time. yeah welcome back welcome back guys uh based on this video you know based on this video as you know what i always do always teaching you something about forex always teaching you something that's gonna help you to open your eyes you know to see what exactly the market is doing even if you are on a naked chart like this you know so I wouldn't want you guys to see this video that I'm making now, like I'm giving you market analysis, you know, I don't like those type of videos too, you know, I like to make videos that people will always like to come back and watch over and over again. But, you know, while making those type of videos, you know, some might be like analysis. Mm -hmm. Now, this been on the AUD, USD, AU, H1 time frame, you know, We've been watching this thing for like going to go up, okay? And I'm going to present this like I'm helping you to set up a chart on, so you can understand how to look at a chart. Okay, this is what we believe then is going to go up then. You know what I mean? Forget about what it has done. It has gone up from here, got here, and then broke down to give us what? To give us a little pullback okay so after this major pullback what am i thinking with these double legs what am i thinking now okay the only thing in my head now is you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna wait a little bit to see what is going on around this red line that i've drawn that's what i'm doing right now but to confirm this properly, let us go and put our support resistance line of um, uh, 500 period the way we used to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, with all the alerts on, man. All right. Yeah, you see, because I wanted to ask you a question before, like, why do you think it bounced back here? now look at the support resistance i used to say because it has hitting that resistance that is why it bounced back but if you put if you look at it the way it's going it's going up okay it's going it's blowing up blowing up there's no doubt about it but then what it has gone on a straight leg to give you the uh support resistance it gave you the pullback of maybe 50 to 60 percent pullback what do you want to do wait for the buy entry okay now if i buy this now because my brain is a buy look at this line it is even already a take profit one this line is already a take profit one and this final line is already the final take profit this final up okay now this is not what we want to do let's zoom it a little bit okay now let us go and put our income arrow to make it spicy you know where is it hmm. income arrow you see the way i'm putting things fast fast sharp sharp that shows you I've been, I'm, I'm doing exactly what i'm saying and i want this income arrow to have a lot and have everything but because of time i'm gonna rush this video now look at your income arrow while this was going up i said okay you should be following 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 these lines following this arrow following this arrow because it's going up now it hit the resistance if you are a professional trader you will know that while hitting this resistance it's definitely going to go back then you will be following the yellow arrow okay yellow arrow okay but that is not what i'm saying right now i'm saying that these have gone from the low support to the high ceiling resistance it has hit in it it has dropped to 50 to 60 percent retracement and this is going back up so we have to wait we have to wait for the entry 
I'm going to call the entry on this for this week. Okay. From this week to next week, we're following this. And I'm going to be calling the entry for you guys. So you guys should wait. The way I'm looking at it, I'm looking at what is going to happen with this red line. And this is already tick P1. And this is already the final TP. Okay. But I'm looking what is going to happen around this red line. Yeah. So welcome back, man. So like I said before, you know, uh, I don't want you guys to see this type of videos that are making like, you know, <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market. Okay. If you see it like analysis of the market, you know, maybe you're just going to watch it for only that day and that's all. You understand? But see it as if I'm showing you how to analyze the market, even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on. Okay. Now, look, I've made a channel. This will be going up right on this channel. Okay. If you look at where my trend lines are even pointing, you will know that this, this, this thing is going up. Okay. But I said, it started from here, bounce here, but why? Why did it bounce back? It bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance, man. Top. It bounced back. Now, what happened? giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this is what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that dropped giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's going to travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on is going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this resistance it's going to go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction, we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line, which I drew here. Okay. Traveling on this white line, which I drew here. You know, the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly. You know, this is what I've always been talking about. You know, if you don't know where the market is going, you, you will never know where to position your own mindset. What is going to be happening inside your mind? How will you be able to follow the market? You know, you cannot follow what you don't know. Where it's, is it going? You know what I mean? If you don't know where something is going, you cannot follow it. You understand? Most of the failure that I've gotten on Forex is because I don't know where the market is going. But when I got my success is because I discover one thing about where the market is going and I continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until I became a master of what I do. 
you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chart looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you to so the other day when i told you guys about um the you know setting up your chart and the forex trendy issue you know one thing about your chart is that it is the only thing that will determine if you're going to be successful in forex or not you know so now i'm going to set up a chart right now so you can see in the post that i made for you guys i want you to now see the chart the way i'm going to display it and I put about the support resistance tool, support resistance. There's a reason why it is there. I'm going to add the support resistance. I told you in the post, I put 500 level support resistance. This is the point where the price always turn around. And the support resistance, you're looking at a lot because you see the price turn around the price bounce on it and it's turning around and this going up you know good now if you are a day trader you can follow it to wherever it's going and if not you can take your entry here if you're a scalper you can get out from here okay but that is not what we're doing here today now look let us go get that arrow the arrow that i put that i call the income arrow go to custom the income arrow that i put and this arrow also has a lot you know i always set mine to be like 10 it's crossing 50 because it will give me the best uh signal and then all the other settings i leave them alone and i do things like uh, show ma lines no a lot is on yes make sure your alert is on because if not you cannot get signal a lot on current i put the false false a lot message yes a lot sound yes a lot message is the one that will send the alert to your phone your phone and you can use your phone to enter the trade okay a lot email well, this one too, if I like, I turn it on. But now let's go and see exactly how it looks like. This is it. These are the arrows. Okay. As a trader, when you know that, the logic here is that the price has bounced on this support and now it's bouncing up. So you know it's going up. That is the thing at the mind, at your at the back of your mind right now. It is going up. It has bounced here on the support, okay, on the floor. Now it's going up, okay? Now, this is the reason why I help you to set the chart so that you can see it, okay? Because when you have a chart that is showing you what exactly is going on in the market, then you will have confidence to, to be sure of monthly income from your trading. Look, what are you supposed to be doing, if not, to follow the arrow? The buy arrow, the buy arrow only, you follow the buy arrow, okay? If you are the one that always draw a trend line, when you draw a trend line, and you know that your trade ends until the day this trend line is broken. Now, look at the chart. Hmm? Tell me that there's something good you found on this chart. While the price bounced on this zone, the roof, which is the resistance, it started coming down where you follow this yellow arrow for down 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 if you draw a trend line following this arrow you will see that okay until the day my trend line broken that is when i come to buy see are you not buying you are buying okay now this trend line drawing is uh, a strategy for another day you know it's not i'm not teaching you how to trade forex but i'm teaching you how to set up your chart and the reason why you need to have a, a very clean chart now this is the support resistance line that i told you it is the two blue lines and these are the arrow okay if you look at the price they are so cheap 
I believe anybody can afford it. I I probably made it cheap because of you guys because I know that yeah most of you cannot afford much expensive things. This is why I'm showing you this. So I don't think you should hesitate not to even get it in order to be profitable. Hmm? If you get something that solves your problem and is going to make you to be profitable, why not? Why not? Why not invest in it? Why not get it? Yeah, so we made a video the other day and now we started again with another video right here to continue what we just talked about a few days ago about this support resistance, which we have the blue line, like I told you guys. And then we have our arrow, if you don't forget. Yeah, we do. This is it. The arrow we follow. And we don't just follow things blindly. You know what I mean? We look at where the market has bounced away from the support. It bounced up. Started going. Now, yesterday, while I was doing this video, we took a buy following this arrow right here but the market went up and pulled back now a lot of you new beginner trader will be scared of pullback you know you're gonna be scared of pullback and that has been the problem in the forex which makes a lot of you losing because when you see a pullback you don't want to care if you're in the right direction i've seen a lot of people they will close that order man they feel it's gone against them the reason is because you don't know where the market is going by yourself you know look a simple analysis the market has bounced away from support it shows you it's going up this is why we drew a trend line apart from the support resistance which is the boundary where we are trading okay now we know it's going up this is why we follow it up yesterday now because i got the information is going up if i'm gonna take my profit now as a scalper you know what i can take my profit somewhere right here if i say i want to take my profit i can take my profit profit number one right here okay i can do that if i'm gonna think of the long term maybe you know to hold it for at least a week yeah maybe a week or a week and a half yeah i can come here and take my profit number two right here why because i know this price is going around here around here is going to create the next resistance but i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is i know where it's going i know where it's going and I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get out here for longer time. Now, if I'm going to talk about the pullback, which is the level that the price will always create to give you another good entry. So that zone is what me I'm going to use to pull my stop loss. Levels. Pullback. Stop loss. See? You know why I can do this thing I'm showing you? Because I know what the market used to do. Well, you know what the market used to do. You will not be scared of pullback, but you will take advantage of the pullback. Now, if this is the level it has created as the last pullback, okay, if I'm going to take this trade today, then my stop loss is going to be exactly, um, exactly, below the pullback itself boom oh what type of risk reward ratio is this if i have a stop loss here my entry here which i put this on yesterday and which my my take profit is here or here when you calculate it it looks like a risk reward ratio of two to one which is very profitable so what am i saying if you know how to follow one strategy and you know one strategy and there's a pattern which you need to see in the market and you follow it with a risk reward ratio of two to one mm? and you follow that every day man your success is guaranteed this is why 
we got the support resistance level and this video is called how to follow support resistance using the income arrow okay i will put all the link of what you need under this video like the support resistance and the this income arrow i will put the link under the video you need to check it out because these are the things that will guide you you know there's no yeah so welcome back man so like i said before you know uh i don't want you guys to see this type of videos that are making like you know <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market okay if you see it like analysis of the market you know maybe you're just gonna watch it for only that day and that's all you understand but see it as if i'm showing you how to analyze the market even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on okay now look i've made a channel this will be going up right on this channel okay if you look at where my trend lines are even pointing you will know that this 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 thing is going up okay but i said it started from here bounce here but why why did it bounce back it bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance man top it bounced back now what happened giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this is what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that drop giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's gonna travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on is going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this resistance is gonna go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line which i drew here okay traveling on this white line which i drew here you know the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly you know this is what i've always been talking about you know 
if you don't know where the market is going you you will never know where to position your own mindset what is going to be happening inside your mind how will you be able to follow the market you know you cannot follow what you don't know where it's is it going you know what i mean if you don't know where something is going you cannot follow it you understand most of the failure that i've gotten on forex is because i don't know where the market is going but when i got my success is because i discover one thing about where the market is going and i continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until i became a master of what i do you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chat looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you to yeah welcome back welcome back guys uh based on this video you know based on this video as you know what i always do always teaching you something about forex always teaching you something that's gonna help you to open your eyes you know to see what exactly the market is doing even if you are on a naked chart like this you know so I wouldn't want you guys to see this video that i'm making now like i'm giving you market analysis you know i don't like those type of videos too you know i like to make videos that people will always like to come back and watch over and over again but you know while making those type of videos you know some might be like analysis mm -hmm. now this been on the aud usd au h1 time frame you know We've been watching this thing for like going to go up, okay? And I'm going to present this like I'm helping you to set up a chart on so you can understand how to look at a chart. Okay, this is what we believe then is going to go up then. You know what I mean? Forget about what it has done. It has gone up from here, got here, and then broke down to give us what? To give us a little pullback okay so after this major pullback what am i thinking with these double legs what am i thinking now okay the only thing in my head now is you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna wait a little bit to see what is going on around this red line that i've drawn that's what i'm doing right now but to confirm this properly, let us go and put our support resistance line of um, uh, 500 period the way we used to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, with all the alerts on, man. All right. Yeah, you see, because I wanted to ask you a question before, like, why do you think it bounced back here? now look at the support resistance i used to say because it has hitting that resistance that is why it bounced back but if you put if you look at it the way it's going it's going up okay it's going is blowing up blowing up there's no doubt about it but then what it has gone on a straight leg to give you the uh support resistance it gave you the pullback of maybe 50 to 60 percent pullback what do you want to do wait for the buy entry okay now if i buy this now because my brain is a buy look at this line it is even already a take profit one this line is already a take profit one and this final line is already the final take profit this final up okay now this is not what we want to do let's zoom it a little bit okay now let us go and put our income arrow to make it spicy you know where is it hmm. income arrow you see the way i'm putting things fast fast sharp sharp that shows you I've been, I'm, I'm doing exactly what i'm saying and i want this income arrow to have a lot and have everything but because of time i'm gonna rush this video now look at your income arrow 
while this was going up, I said, okay, you should be following, following, following these lines, following this arrow, following this arrow because it's going up. Now it hit the resistance. If you are a professional trader, you will know that while hitting this resistance, it's definitely going to go back. Then you will be following the yellow arrow, okay? Yellow arrow, okay? But that is not what I'm saying. Right now, I'm saying that these have gone from the low support to the high ceiling resistance. It has hit in it. It has dropped to 50 to 60% retracement, and this is going back up. So we have to wait. We have to wait for the entry. I'm going to call the entry on this for this week, okay? From this week to next week, we're following this, and I'm going to be calling the entry for you guys. So you guys should wait. The way I'm looking at it, I'm looking at what is going to happen with this red line and this is already tick p1 and this is already the final tp okay but i'm looking what is going to happen around this red 